was there a point at which you started feeling like there was something off about him? Two, I get two years old. Whenever, when whenever you, you remember, yeah. I mean, okay. I, uh, not not yet. Too early yet to, for me to notice anything. Okay. At what point, if you did notice something that you didn't think was right about him, at what point would that have been approximately? Do you think? Uh, more like. Uh, like four. Okay. And can you tell us the types of things that you noticed that, that either concerned you or thought you thought were strange or whatever you would describe them as? Uh, he would have tantrums if he didn't get his way. But, I mean, kids have tantrums. Yeah. But not to that extent. It would be like a full-blown tantrum like kind of out of control type thing and again we've talked about how you raised... throw things okay. if that's the way you want me to you want me to describe how i would see him have these tantrums yeah he would throw things uh he would uh kick he would kick the whatever the floor whatever you know lay down and scream and and cry but not like the normal tantrum a child has like um, um, more exerted, and maybe that's not the, even the word I want to use, but uh, more extensive. Okay. Okay. Uh, like a, a, a normal child has a tantrum, and you tell them, you know, stop or whatever, with a stern voice. Okay. They they normally they stop. Okay, but he didn't. He didn't. Then he would run around and he would kick things, and it had to be his way or no way. That describes that on this. Yeah. Know. Um. Can you describe to us uh, his whether he was attached to Linda, like emotional? Oh, so so bad. Very, he was so attached to her. Um, she, she, she couldn't go anywhere without him. He would, he would scream and cry, and yeah, she was very attached. Okay, and you, you, you first said that he was attached very badly, and I think, I think what you meant was very, very strong the attachment was to her. But did you, did you think it was? Sort of over the top. Is that why you said badly? Yeah, because uh, she couldn't go anywhere. You know, he would have these meltdowns when she left. And were there times that that she left him with you, and he had these tantrums? Yes. Okay. And did you ever babysit for him for more than a couple of hours? Like, did he ever stay with you for a couple of days? I, I babysat for him overnight, yeah, for a few days. Okay. Uh -huh. And what, how would he be when he was at your house when she was gone? Well, it would never be at my house. Oh, okay. It would always be in her house. I understand. And would he, would he be expressing that, that attachment issue when she was gone? Yes, he would stand at the window. Um, at the front of the house and he would be screaming and crying and um and i would have to yell at him and tell him nicholas get away from the window mommy's coming back but it took out it took a long time to calm him down okay. it wasn't like okay i'll walk away from the window it was like I'm going to stand here for a few hours and do this. Um, I think we lost Mr. Marcus. Oh, we did? Oh, we no? Oh, he's there. Okay. I'm here. Thank you. Um, can you describe to us any other 
behaviors that you saw in Nick when he was upset? Uh, basically, he would throw things, kick things, um, scream, cry. And it was very hard to control him. An example. She would have to make herself kind of like a straight jacket type thing. Where she'd have to hug him. So while he was having these episodes. Okay? To try and calm him down. Okay. If that describes it right to you, it's like very tight holding like restraining him type thing okay but you know her doing it uh, and during these tantrums did he ever show any aggression in any way towards other people um i don't i don't remember that okay in in times that We've talked before, you mentioned him acting like an animal at some point. Is right. that right? Uh -huh. And can you describe what that was like? Uh, like, he would, out of the clear blue sky, like he would start acting like a lion. Okay? And he would go right in your face. Go, ah, like this, you know? And, uh, and, and he'd run around the house and he would do it to everybody not just one person you know and when you tell him to stop he he he, he wouldn't listen you know and then when you reprimand him um and he was in his room you know that's that's when he would he would stop okay and did that his uh Acting like a tiger, is that something that went on that was just a, a brief period of time or did that go on for a oh, period? Oh, forever. Meaning months or years? Years. Or? Okay. Yeah, no, that wasn't like a... Uh, that, was, that was many years. Okay. And was that a behavior that concerned you? Yes. Did you ever try to bring your concerns about Nicholas to Linda's attention? No. Why? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I, 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 I really, to tell you the truth, I, do, I didn't, I didn't know those, those things until I had my own son. And when I adopted my son, and he had similar problems that I saw with Nicholas. Okay. Let me stop talking on there. That's my grandfather clock, just to let you know. So 